What's going on YouTube? My name is Marcus aka Apostle and today I am bringing you another Spellbreak gameplay. This time I had someone in chat ask me to do a Tempest guide type of thing. So I basically did a live Tempest gameplay on how to win. I've been thinking about doing more of these for pretty much every class. So if you're interested in that, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know that you want to see those. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out the Twitch stream down in the description below. We do a lot of fun stuff in there, so be sure to check it out. And if you want to go above and beyond in supporting me, you can use my creator code right there, Apostle OG. You throw that into the store while you're buying gold, and a part of the proceeds will go to me. If you don't use mine, just be sure to use somebody's because it's free money for your favorite creator. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Can you give us some advanced tips as you're playing this one? I want to get better with Tempest. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, straight up Tempest guide live. How to win with Tempest. Yeah, I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So basically out of the gate, Tempest is one of the weakest classes in general. So if a Toxic or a Pyro player lands you on, lands on you as Tempest, it's really bad. You just need to pretty much run we can basically just try to loot up here get amulets because amulet is really important as tempest because you're going to be wind jumping all the time so you're going to be using a lot more mana than you would as any other class so you really want a decent amulet and a better wind gauntlet because the higher tier gauntlet you get the less mana it uses and then basically you can just loot as quickly as you can with your wind to try to get a jump on people especially if you don't have boots you can travel really quick so I've got flame and a spring step now so I can get on top of people this guy pushed me kind of back off a little bit. He's gonna keep pushing me even though he's 1 HP and my teammates are behind him. Now he's running. Just throwing down my AoE spells there to just slow him down so he can't get away and pot up. Now I'm low. I'm gonna pop some pots because I'm running thirsty so I can pop them quickly and when I pop them it actually helps my teammates. Always trying to maintain the high ground here. Throw down a little tornado and flame wall on that guy. How much damage does do to him? Look at that. Oh, I just took onto it. Did like 50 damage. Was shocked. Use spring step to catch up while they're levitating. I could be using my wind jump, but I'm using spring step to catch up because it's fa a faster vertical movement. It's a faster vertical movement and it doesn't use mana, so I'm using a white wind so I can just use my spring step rune to get in it. Especially against somebody with feather fall, really catch up to him quick. I haven't talked about my classes or my talents yet, so mind category I'm running runic fluency. Body category, I'm running Fervor. And Soul category, I'm running Thirsty. Runic's gonna give me the extra rune charge, so as you see in the bottom middle. Just getting that little two stack of dash. Fervor is gonna increase my cast speed, which is a time in between casts. So the faster I go, the higher I get my fervor, the faster I'm going to be able to throw out all my attacks, but specifically my wind jumps. That's why it's really good on Tempest, is because you can just gain so much momentum. Something with wall wind jumping that I still do, that I haven't gotten used to, that I need to fix, is to hold your S key while you're doing it. Always hold the key in the direction. So what I'll end up doing on accident is I'll be holding W and then I'll try to wall jump and it'll slow me down when I could really just hold S and get the full momentum real quick. But I did switch out my spell, my, my spell break, my rune for dash. 
because I dislike the horizontal movement, especially with uh, with flame. You can like circle around people and kind of come at people in an angle and be a little bit unpredictable. This is really dangerous to be in this field with a stone guy. So basically, spring step's gonna give you very fast, like, directional movement because spring step holds. If you spring step and you hold spacebar as you do it, you're gonna carry the momentum into the air. So you'll go up really quick and you'll go forward real quick. But with Tempest, that's like a big mistake a lot of people make is they wind jump too high. And then when you're like up here, say I'm fighting someone over here right and i'm wind jumping so i wind jump up high and it gives them a clear shot on me whereas if i can kind of stay lower i can kind of play this wall and use the wall as cover instead of completely giving up my cover and for basically no benefit but kind of your goal with the wind class is to get on top of somebody so you can do this and just spam them down with your wind gauntlet Too much ice and toxic. This is bad. Can't find potions anywhere. I'm just playing off the back of my teammate. I don't want to be tanking this. I'm also worried that I'm going to get sniped. I'm pretty much two shot by most gauntlets. Stone will probably one shot me, and if this guy hits an ice shot, it'll one shot me. If it's full charge. I'm gonna get some free tick damage off on him. He's super low, so I just wanna down this guy so I don't have to worry about getting one shot. Also got potions. Oh, I fell into my own thing. He's got stone, so I'm basically one shot to him. I'm really just trying to throw down a lot of AOE spells to try to do tick damage to him. I'm not trying to jump in and trade damage with him because I can't. I'll die. This guy wants me dead. This is really bad. Just try to be unpredictable. This little slippery snake. Get up here. They can't get up here as quickly as I can. Oh, they have flight, so they can. Circle around. Nobody expects you to go back towards them, man. It works like 95% of the time. If you're running away, you pop a pot, and then you ro are you running away, you break line of sight, and then uh, pop a pot. I want him to fly up here. My teammates are dead. That's unfortunate. But so I was getting chased this way, right? And then I popped a pot, and I knew he was flying behind me. I got here and kind of figured out which direction he was going, and then went back over here. Which gave me enough time to get my potion off completely. Speaking of potions. There's only 10 people left. I don't have a team anymore. Very unfortunate. I could really use some potions. If I can get a gold belt out of here, that'll be super clutch. I'm actually wait to see if I get a belt out of there before I use my potions. No gold belt, unfortunately. That would've been nice. But now I have to use my two armor shards. Or is there another mana vault? There's one, but it's all the way on the other side in the open right there. Probably not worth it. It's gonna take a bunch of health pots. This is the part of the game where it... It's a lot of just scavenging. And so our story begins. Especially since I'm a solo player right now. I have to make sure that I have as many pots as I can get. Put some pressure on these guys, make some noise. This is a good spot to be playing as Tempest because I can play this tower and if I can push them off of it, I can keep going up and down. This is bad, they're all pushing me though. 
and I can't get him off the tower. I haven't hit any shots. I'm gonna waste his rune. I need this other team's help. There's no way this team's too sweaty. I need to back off. Too sweaty and too much consistent damage. Like the, the spam that they're throwing out. I don't know how I didn't just get hit by that. The shield plot down there, I want it. All the spam they're throwing out is just gonna do damage over time for sure. Even if they only hit me with like one or two throughout the time that I'm running, since Tempest is like a Kaidi class. They're just gonna basically out damage me. I'm just trying to keep line of sight broken and then tick them down if I can. That flame wall is actually gonna prevent him from throwing out those. He's gonna switch to lightning, which is super smart. I really need this other team to come in. They're just hiding. I need a team to come and distract these guys. It's super unfortunate that I have no shields. Like, really unfortunate. Even if the, the other team isn't good that I'm fighting, if I can just bring them together, it takes the focus off of me. I probably shouldn't have popped that other pot. I think I wasted it. is bad now I'm pinched. You guys are playing way too slow. The guys that I just found back there. I need them to do something if I want to win this. Um, oh, I wanted to break his prevent him from potting that. That was a big shield I think. Oh nice. I downed him while the pot was still going off. That was big for me. He's got more health than me. I just need to play this slow, this slow game. I think I can handle the other team. If they'll come in and fight, that would be awesome because this guy's the guy that I'm worried about. Help the pot. We're basically even at this point. Try to pull this other team out. This other team will literally do anything. It would help me a lot. Shoot the little fireball. It's literally just like playing line of sights this whole time. There's one guy just hiding down here somewhere. In the bush. I hit him with that flame wall. Don't know if it's worth to pop this potion or not yet. I'm going to, and then I'm going to push and try to finish him. That's worth. Oh, nice. That was the last guy. I was worried about the last guy for no reason. GG. But yeah, that's kind of a how to play Tempest guy. I hope it helped. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Twitch stream.